Hi, my name is Ron Lehman. I'm from the Faux School in Frederick, Maryland. Today I'm going to show you a finish that we call Liscio. It's L-I-S-C-I-O using the Toscano acrylic Venetian plaster. Today I'm going to show you using the black plaster and silver wax. So let's get our tools, let's get our materials, and let's get started. So the first thing I've done to prepare to, pr uh, to apply the plaster is I've base coated the surface with the quartz primer. This is a water-based primer, cleans up with soap and water. Um, the difference between this primer and most primers is that this one is a truly dead flat primer, meaning it has zero sheen at all, no reflect, nothing's being reflected of light off of it. And it's actually, for the lack of a better term, gritty, rough, very, I don't want to say texture, because there's not much, there's no texture, it just has a uh, very aggressive tooth, meaning it bites into that plaster. So the tools we're going to need today for this finish is a little whizzy roller. Uh, four inch is fine for a sample board. If I was using a, doing a wall, I'd probably use no larger than a six inch, and I would actually use a whizzy roller. This is going to apply the plaster, create our texture, and our Venetian trowel. So what I'm going to use now is the Toscano plaster, the acrylic watt plaster. It's uh, soap and water cleanup. It's an acrylic product for this finish. Uh, and I'm using the black base, meaning it comes in a white tint base. I'm sorry, it comes in a white base, a tint base, black base, red, yellow, green, blue, orange. Uh, the black base simply means that it comes from the factory pre-tinted black, so you don't have to try to add color to it. If you're trying to take a tint base and add black color to it, um, it could be tricky, depending on whose product you're using. A lot of products only tend to go gray. They never really get to get that, become that true dark, rich black that we're looking for. Coming directly from the factory, it is jet black. Okay, so I'm gonna take my whiz roller, load it up with some product, and to start with, I just wanna get the plaster on the surface. If I was on a ceiling, this is how I'd have to do it, just like so. I'm gonna put this on pretty thick because I wanna create some texture with it. Now, the other thing about trying to tint your own product or your own plaster with some pigments, if you're using a water-based pigment or a liquid pigment system, the more pigment you add, the more diluted you're going to get, you're, the more dilution you're going to, or the, you're going to over-dilute your plaster. I can't talk today. Or it's going to become more diluted, so more watery. We don't want that. We want nice, thick, heavy plaster so we can get that texture that we're looking for because we want this to be real fun and textured. So I'm putting this on as about as heavy as I can put it or as thick as I can put it on without it sagging off the wall. And I really can't give you a, a texture, a thickness gauge for that. It's going to just take you a little practice to get used to it. If I had to guess, I'm going to say probably close to eighth of an inch thick, if not a little thicker. And see how it's covering really nice? That's what we want. So if I'm doing a big wall, I'm going to work in, you know, four foot by four foot areas, something that's manageable. Or I might put it on, have a helper come behind me and manipulate it or vice versa. I'll have the helper put it on. Now what I'm going to do is take my whiz roller and I want to go like little herringbone or crisscross patterns, breaking up any roller texture I might have created or pattern from the roller. All right. That's nice and thick. That's what I want. All right, so we're just gonna finish this out like so. That is it for the first step. This needs to dry. We'll come back after it's dry and show you what we're gonna do then. So I'm gonna let it dry. We'll see you in just a little bit. Okay, so we have the first step is dried and we're getting ready to obviously do the second step. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Venetian plaster trowel and with a moderate pressure, I'm gonna put the trowel on the surface. Oh, at about like a is that 30 degree, 25 degree angle. And I'm going to start to compress and burnish at the same time. And what it's doing is bringing out all those highs and making them nice and shiny and those low spots aren't shiny, but I'm compressing that plaster as well. I'm gonna do this from two different angles. That way I can make sure I get most of it. Okay, that's how simple that application is. 
So the next step to really enhance all of this, or you could leave it like this if you're comf if you're like that. It's a uh, it's a multi multi step finish in a sense. Like uh, if you like it natural like this, then leave it natural. If you want to pump it up a little bit, let's pump it up a little bit. What I'm going to do is take our Italian polishing wax. This is the silver, and I'm going to trowel that on top of it. And what it's going to do is now my trowel is riding across all those high spots and it's filling in all the lows with the wax. Just want to make sure I gather it all up. And the cool thing, even though this looks like super, super textured, it's pretty smooth at the end of the day. I mean, it's probably just as smooth as a painted wall surface. Makes a great accent wall. Looks really cool on ceilings, especially in like home theaters. Let's get a little more wax. all there is to it. Just make sure we get all those little nooks and crannies. Gather up any little high spots of material, mainly around the edge where my tape is. That's it. Once she's dry, we'll come back and polish it to a nice gloss and go from there. All right, so we'll let this dry, we'll polish it. So I'll see you in just a little bit. Okay, so the plaster is set up. I'm gonna simply take a clean soft rag, go through real lightly and buff it out. If it was a big wall, I'd probably use my lamb's wool pad on my car buffer, polish it out. Well, there you have it. That's the terra finish we call Lischio with the Toscano plaster. Perfect for any room in the house that you can think of. Great for accent walls and any color combination is possible. My name is Ron Lehman. I wanna thank you for watching. If you have any questions, send me an email, call the studio, leave a comment below. I'll be glad to help you in any way I possibly can. Thanks, bye.